Breton, BR10, is a Celtic language spoken in Brittany, France. Breton is a Brythonic language brought from Great Britain to Armorica by migrating Britons during the early Middle Ages. It is thus an insular Celtic language and not closely related to the Gaulish language, which had been spoken in pre-Roman Gaul. Breton is most closely related to Cornish, both being southwestern Brythonic languages. Welsh and the extinct Cumbric are the more distantly related Brythonic languages. The other regional language of Brittany, Gallio, is a land EOIL. It is a Romance language, thus ultimately descended from Latin, and consequently very close to French, although not mutually intelligible, having declined from more than 1 million speakers around 1950 to about 200,000 in the first decade of the 21st century. Breton is classified as severely endangered by the UNESCO Atlas of the World's Languages in Danger. However, the number of children attending bilingual classes has risen 33% between 2006 and 2012 to 14,709. History and Status Breton is spoken in Lower Brittany, roughly to the west of a line linking Pluha and La Roche Bernard. It comes from a Britonic language community that once extended from Great Britain to Armorica and had even established a toehold in Galicia. Old Breton is attested from the 9th century. It was the language of the upper classes until the 12th century, after which it became the language of commoners in West Brittany. The nobility, followed by the bourgeoisie, adopted French. The written language of the Duchy of Brittany was Latin, switching to French in the 15th century. There exists a limited tradition of Breton literature. Some old Breton vocabulary remains in the present day as philosophical and scientific terms in modern Breton. The French monarchy was not concerned with the minority languages of France spoken by the lower classes and required the use of French for government business as part of its policy of national unity. During the French Revolution, the government introduced policies favoring French over the regional languages, which it pejoratively referred to as patois. The revolutionaries assumed that reactionary and monarchist forces preferred regional languages to try to keep the peasant masses underinformed. In 1794, Bertrand Barret submitted his report on the Patois to the Committee of Public Safety in which he said that federalism and superstition speak Breton. Since the 19th century, under the Third, Fourth and Fifth Republics, the government has attempted to stamp out minority languages in state schools, including Breton, in an effort to build a national culture. Teachers humiliated students for using their regional languages, and such practices prevailed until the late 1960s. In the early 21st century, due to the political centralization of France, the influence of the media, and the increasing mobility of people, only about 200,000 people can speak Breton. This has dramatically declined from more than a million in 1950. The majority of today's speakers are more than 60 years old, and Breton is now classified as an endangered language. At the beginning of the 20th century, half of the population of Lower Brittany knew only Breton, the other half were bilingual. By 1950, there were only 100,000 monolingual Bretons, and a rapid decline has occurred, with likely no monolingual speakers left today. A statistical survey in 1997 found around 300,000 speakers in Bridgesel, of whom about 190,000 were aged 60 or older. Few 15 to 19 year olds spoke Breton. Revival efforts. In 1925, Professor Ropaz Heman founded the Breton language review Gualan. During its 19-year run, Gualan tried to raise the language to the level of a great international language. Its publication encouraged the creation of original literature in all genres, and proposed Breton translations of internationally recognized foreign works. 
In 1946, Al-Liam replaced Gualan. Other Breton language periodicals have been published, which established a fairly large body of literature for a minority language. In 1977, Devon schools were founded to teach Breton by immersion. They taught a few thousand young people from elementary school to high school. See the education section for more information. The Asterix comic series has been translated into Breton. According to the comic, the Gaulish village where Asterix lives is in the Armorica Peninsula, which is now Brittany. Some other popular comics have also been translated into Breton, including The Adventures of Tintin, Spiru, Tituff, Hager the Horrible, Peanuts and Yarkari. Some original media is created in Breton. The sitcom, Can Touch, is in Breton. Radio Kern, broadcasting from Finisterre, has exclusively Breton programming. Some movies and TV series have also been translated and broadcast in Breton. Poets, linguists, and writers who have written in Breton, including Jan Burke Alec, Ropaz Heman, Angela Duval, Bajakas Helios and Nguyen Guernig, are now known internationally. Today, Breton is the only living Celtic language that is not recognized by the national government as an official or regional language. The French state refuses to change the second article of the Constitution, which establishes that the language of the Republic is French, although Breton was long the Celtic language with the highest number of speakers. It is now endangered. The first Breton dictionary, the Catholicon, was also the first French dictionary. Edited by Jehan Lagadec in 1464, it was a trilingual work containing Breton, French and Latin. Today bilingual dictionaries have been published for Breton and languages including English, Dutch, German, Spanish and Welsh. A new generation is determined to gain international recognition for Breton. The monolingual dictionary, Geriadjul Brejonig and Heer, defines Breton words in Breton. The first edition contained about 10,000 words, and the second edition of 2001 contains 20,000 words. In the early 21st century, the OFIs are Brejonig began a campaign to encourage daily use of Breton in the region by both businesses and local communes. Efforts include installing bilingual signs and posters for regional events as well as encouraging the use of the spill Hernig to let speakers identify each other. The office also started an internationalization and localization policy asking Google, Firefox and SPIP to develop their interfaces in Breton. On March 2007, the OFIs are Brejonig signed a tripartite agreement with Regional Council of Brittany and Microsoft for the consideration of the Breton language in Microsoft products. In October 2014, Facebook added Breton as one of its 121 languages. After three years of talks between the OFIs and the American giant, geographic distribution and dialects, Breton is spoken mainly in Lower Brittany, but also in a more dispersed way in Upper Brittany, and in areas around the world that have Breton emigrants. The four traditional dialects of Breton correspond to medieval bishoprics rather than to linguistic divisions. They are Leonig, Tregerig, Kernavej, and Gwenidug. Guerandes was spoken up to the beginning of the 20th century in the region of Guerande and Batsur Mare. There are no clear boundaries between the dialects because they form a dialect continuum, varying only slightly from one village to the next. Gwenidug, however, is almost mutually unintelligible with most of the other dialects. Official status. Nation as noted, only French is an official language of France. Supporters of Breton and other minority languages continue to argue for their recognition, education in public schools and place in public life. Constitution In July 2008, the legislature amended the French Constitution, adding Article 75 to 1. Les langues régionales appartiennent au patrimoine de la France. This acknowledged the significance of the languages. The government has not provided official recognition, rights or funds to support use of these languages. 
On 27 October 2015, the Senate rejected the draft law on ratification of the European Charter for Regional or Minority Languages driving away the assumption of Congress for the adoption of the constitutional reform which would have given the value and legitimacy to regional languages such as Breton. Region Regional and departmental authorities use Breton to a very limited extent, for example in signage. Some bilingual signage has also been installed, such as street name signs in Breton towns. One station of the Rennes metro system has signs in both French and Breton. Under the French law known as Tubin, it is illegal for commercial signage to be in Breton alone. Signs must be bilingual or French only. Since commercial signage usually has limited physical space, most businesses have signs only in French. OFI's public Arbrejonag, the Breton Language Agency, was set up in 1999 by the Brittany region to promote and develop the daily use of Breton. It created the YARDA Arbrejonag campaign to encourage enterprises, organizations and communes to promote the use of Breton for example by installing bilingual signage or translating their websites into Breton. Education In the late 20th century, the French government considered incorporating the independent Breton language immersion schools into the state education system. This action was blocked by the French Constitutional Council based on the 1994 amendment to the constitution that establishes French as the language of the Republic. Therefore, no other language may be used as a language of instruction in state schools. The Tuban law implemented the amendment, asserting that French is the language of public education. The Devon schools were founded in Brittany in 1977 to teach Breton by immersion. They taught a few thousand young people from elementary school to high school. They have gained fame owing to their high level of results in school exams. Breton language schools do not receive funding from the national government, though the Brittany region may fund them. Another teaching method is a bilingual approach by D.I.V. Yezh in the state schools, created in 1979. Dihun was created in 1990 for bilingual education in the Catholic schools. Statistics in 2012, 14,709 pupils attended Devon, D.I.V. Yezh and Dai Hun schools. Their number has increased yearly. Jean-Yves Le Drian, the president of the regional council, had her goal of 20,000 pupils by 2010, but is encouraged by their progress. In 2007, some 4,500 to 5,000 adults followed a Breton language course. The family transmission of Breton in 1999 is estimated to be 3%. Municipalities are the forms of education in addition to bilingual education. The region has introduced Breton language in the primary education, primarily in the Department of Finisterre. These initiation sessions are generally one to three hours per week and consist of songs and games. Schools in secondary education offer some courses of Breton. In 2010, nearly 5,000 students in Brittany were reported to be taking this option. Phonology Vowels Vowels in Breton may be short or long. All unstressed vowels are short. Stressed vowels can be short or long. All vowels can also be nasalized, which is noted by appending an N letter after the base vowel, or by adding a combining tilde above the vowel, or more commonly by non-ambiguously appending an N letter after the base vowel. Dithongs are I, A. Consonants pronunciation of the letter R and thus the phonetic inventory of a Breton speaker varies in Brittany is used in the French-influenced standard language whereas R and are used in more conservative dialects in northern Eliacutoen and Tregoen, by some elderly speakers in Vannes. Grammar, verbal aspect as in English and the other Celtic languages, a variety of verbal constructions are available to express grammatical aspect. For example showing a distinction between progressive and habitual actions. Conjugated prepositions is in other modern Celtic languages. 
Breton pronouns are fused into preceding prepositions to produce a sort of conjugated preposition. Below are some examples in Breton, Cornish, Welsh, Irish, Scottish, Gaelic, and Manx, along with English translations. Note that in the examples above the Goedelic languages use the preposition meaning at to show possession, whereas the Britonic languages use with the Goedelic languages, however, do use the preposition with to express belong to. Note also that the above examples of Welsh are the formal written language. The order and preposition may differ slightly in colloquial Welsh. Initial consonant mutations Breton has four initial consonant mutations. Though modern Breton lost the nasal mutation of Welsh, it also has a hard mutation, in which voice stops become voiceless, and a mixed mutation, which is a mixture of hard and soft mutations. Vocabulary some words that passed into French and into English The English words dolmen and menhai have been borrowed from French, which supposedly took them from Breton. However, this is uncertain. For instance, menhai is pulven or mayon here, mayon sav in Breton. Dolmen is a misconstructed word. Some studies state that these words were borrowed from Cornish. Mayon here can be directly translated from Welsh as long stone. The French word baragouina is derived from Breton bara, bread, and guin, wine. The French word goeland is derived from Breton guelin, which shares the same root as English, gull.